This is a line drawing that I'm doing. It's, uh, well, it's going to be a value map, which means it's the basis of a painting. I'm doing this on a 5x7 canvas, and as you can see, it's a small boat sitting in the water. I've developed the shape of the boat. Um, I'm using a sketch and wash pencil, which means it's water soluble. It's uh, a General's pencil. Not that I'm advertising any brand, but it uh, does what I need it to do. Uh, the line goes on draw, dry like any other pencil and then you can just add water to it and get a deeper line. So what I've done is sketch in the overall shape of the boat and um, some, of the, some of the shapes of the values in the water. This is an important thing to do because it's going to be your basis, it's going to be your guide for what you're going to create with your painting. Uh, all paintings tend to me to be a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You're shifting, you're changing, you're comparing shapes and sizes all the time. Um, sometimes when you look at the surface of a water, you think it is a pretty flat base of water or, or base of color, but actually it's composed of a variety of different shades. Uh, there's shifting values and shapes in all the water. Uh, with this sketch and wash pencil and uh, some plain water, I can start just blocking in some of the darker values that are within the boat. The back of the boat here is in shadow. Uh, the base of the boat is very dark shadow where it touches the water. Um, you can do this fairly loosely. When this dries, it's uh, going to set. Uh, I usually give things a slight spray of varnish if I think that the color is going to lift in any way. That's going to ensure that uh, it's not going to muddy any of the colors of the paint that I'm going to use. It will be oil paint for this uh, piece. You're just blocking in values. This will all be adjusted several times before the picture is finished. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're looking for basic shapes. And the values are what are going to continue to shape your piece, give it form. This is the rope that is tethering the boat to the anchor into the water. There's another boat, or another line here rather, that uh, will shift out of the side over the bow of the boat and, uh, or sorry, over the stern of the boat. Gotta get my terms right. I'm just using plain water. You, s you notice on water, even though you think it's very flat, there's slight movement in the surface of the water and that's going to reflect in your shapes. So pay really careful attention to the shapes when you're first putting them in. This will give you a really good guidance and a good line for uh, realism to ensure that your proportions are correct and that your boat is going to be believable and your water is going to be believable. The tones are going to vary, the values are going to vary constantly. And as you continue to create form and water surface and lines, then you're going to let that dry. Give it a quick spray of fixative to ensure that it doesn't lift. And then it'll be on to your next stage. You can then start laying in 
some of your first washes of paint. You're going to block in some of those colors. It's a process that's going to take time, so don't rush any stage. No prizes for being first. <laughs>